Hey everybody in Design and Modeling, this is Mr. Reynolds talking. We are going to do a quick video tutorial here on your next assignment and your first assignment really in Tinkercad. You spent the last two days going over tutorials and learning what the tools are, how they work, and hopefully you guys were able to get through all of those to kind of understand what this online software can really do. So you can see here, this is what we're going to be working on. We are going to make or recreate the skimmer that you guys made for real last week. So we're gonna take something that we've already created and we're gonna make it 3D on this computer software, right? So the reason why I chose to do the skimmer is because it's gonna use the tools that you guys have just learned in the tutorial and you guys should be familiar with the measurements of the skimmer because you just put this together in real life last week, right? So to get started, you're gonna go up here to this blue button that says create new design. So I'm going to click that. All right, we'll let this load up. Okay, now here we are. Here is the blue work plane. Here are my zoom tools on the left side here. This is the right view cube, which you can click and you can move your work plane to all these different places, right? If you have a mouse, you can right click and also move your work plane. Over here is all of your shapes. Um, up here are some tools, right, like copy, paste, there's delete, undo, right, group, ungroup, align, mirror, all this the stuff that you guys have gone over in the tutorials. Up here, it says Fabulous Snagit Kasi. This is just a fake name that they gave the project, right? So we're going to change that later when we want to save everything. So let's get started right away. I'm going to grab a box, and I want you guys to do the same thing when you get into Tinkercad. I'm going to place this box here. Okay, now this should all look familiar, but when I go to, let's say, this black square here, and I click on it, you can see it says 20.00. Okay, that is 20 millimeters. We did not make our air skimmer using metric measurements or millimeters, right? We made it using U.S. customary measurements and specifically inches. So to change this to inches, we go to the bottom here, you can see it says millimeter, and above that it says edit grid. So I'm going to click edit grid, and at the top here it says units, and it says millimeters. Hit this little down arrow, and let's change millimeters to inches. Click, and there are your inches, and click update grid. Okay, now when I click this black square, it says 0.787 inches. So I'm going to click that. And I'm going to type 3 for 3 inches and hit enter. And now I have the square which is 3 inches wide. If I click this front square here, it tells me my square is 0.787 inches wide. And I'm going to change that to say 8 inches. Hit enter. Let's zoom out so you guys can see that whole thing. Okay. So now we have this really big rectangle, right? And this is way too thick for a piece of folder. So again, we have to change that. So I click this white button here. And it can, says here, it's again, 0.787 is the height or thickness. So I'm going to click that. And I'm going to change the thickness to 0.062, right? Which is the same thing as about 1 16th of an inch. Hit enter. And now we have this skinny piece of folder. I'm going to use my arrow keys on my keyboard. I'm going to push this piece back. I'm going to move it over to kind of center it. All right. Now there is the main body piece. I'm going to click this cone here. All right. So you guys can see that. And I'm going to raise this up to three-fourths of an inch off the work plane so you can see it hovering now and have a better idea of what it's going to be. Now if I click this again, let's change the color to um, kind of a plain vanilla folder color. So I'm going to click this red, and let's go over here to this tan color, change it to that color. There you go. All right. And now we have what looks more like a folder piece. Next we're going to make the sides of the air skimmer. So I'm going to grab this box tool again, bring it over here. Okay. Now. Let's see, let's click this one. Okay, and we're gonna make this guy 0.5 inches wide. Okay, half an inch wide. 
I'm gonna click this front one here. And instead of one inch long, we're gonna make this 11 inches long. Hit enter. Whoa, okay, there we go. And again, way too thick. So hit this white arrow up top, or white box, I'm sorry. Instead of one inch tall, we're gonna make this again, 0 0.062. 0 0.062 and enter and now we have the skinny piece right a folder all right and again i'm going to kind of scoot it back so it's more on the work plane there we go now you can tell it's flat like this is flat but we know the air skimmer sides are actually you know on their side right so we have to rotate this so i click this little see this little rotation little two arrows here so i'm going to click that and i'm going to rotate this 90 degrees so i type 90 Hit enter, and there it is. Okay, right there. Okay, and I'm not gonna change the color yet until we attach this. So we have to attach this piece to this piece, right? So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna raise this up by clicking this upper cone, right? I can actually just say three-fourths of an inch if it matters. Okay, that's too high. Let's bring this down. Let's leave it there for now. Okay, how do we attach these? You guys should have learned, should have learned this in the tutorial from yesterday. We're going to align them, right? So I'm gonna click the body piece, press the shift key on my keyboard, click the side piece, all right? Then I'm gonna click align up here while they're both highlighted. And I get all these little squares, right? If I click, it gives me a highlight here. So this would put the main body piece at the bottom. This would center it to the side piece, and this would align the tops. So I'm going to click this top one here to align the tops. Then this one here will actually put the two of them together. So let's do that. Okay. And if I rotate, you can see this is a little off, right, in the front here. So we need to get those lined up. So I'm gonna click this one here, and now they're lined up. Now while I have them all lined up, and I have them both highlighted, let's go up here to the group button, click that, and it puts it together. And when I group them, right, whatever one I selected first, it changes both of them to that color. So since I picked the body first when I highlighted them, it made the side tan. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, so now we have one side of the air skimmer, right? We need the other. Now this should this is actually easier once we have one built. So I'm gonna go ahead. And I'm gonna click the side here and just for fun, I'm gonna ungroup these so you guys can see the difference. Goes back to the color. Okay, and now when I click the side here. I can do copy up here on the left. Next to that, go paste. It'll make a second one, and I'm going to go ahead and slide that over. All right. I don't want to lose these being together. So again, I'm going to go back, select, shift key, select the first side I made, group them back together so they're all one piece. Good. And now this is all one piece and this new side is another piece okay again we have to align we have to put these together so i'm going to click the first one all highlights shift key click the second side they're both highlighted go to the top here to align okay again click my top arrow okay i'm going to click this front one here And you can see now they are connected. Now I can hit group. And now we have that side attached to the, the body. And we have the beginning of our air skimmer. All right, I wanna give you guys too much the first day. I want you to try and get just this far. So the body with the two air skimmer sides attached uh, you can color it any color you want. That's not the important part. 
It's more so that you get it down to the correct size and that you got it attached using the align tool and getting everything to look how it's supposed to look. That's most important. So we're going to stop here today and I want you guys to try and get this far. Um, if you didn't read it in the module, um, I can actually go into each one of your Tinkercad profiles and see your work. So I can go in and see if you get this far and how it worked for you. I can always check your work and see you know, what you're doing. So try and get this far for today. Tomorrow I'll show you guys how to do the fins and we'll add that back flap and then we'll save the uh, air scoop for last. Okay, up here again where it has this weird name, I'm gonna click that and I'm gonna change that name for me to skimmer example so that when we come back to this tomorrow, uh, I can find the file that I saved it. Click off of there. And now I know it's saved as skimmer example. You can name yours uh, my skimmer. You can put your name on it, whatever you want to do. Um, it's under your account. Okay, guys, hopefully that was helpful. This is going to be your work for today. And I wish you guys the best of luck. Again, if you need anything, please contact me during my office hours, uh, which are daily from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. and from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. Okay, good luck, and we'll talk next time.